Got an LG 49UF 6400. This is a 4K LED TV by LG. About three years old. Looks like absolute crap. You guys are going to like this one. I mean, this is the problem with these televisions. They don't last. And they're just a piece of crap. Piece of garbage. Let's take a look at this one. You're not going to believe what the problem is. Okay, I've got an LG TV here. As you can see, there's no green in the picture. I can't show this for obvious reasons. I can show this part because it's just a credit roll. But as you can see, there's no green in the picture. So I'm going to just try doing a factory reset before uh, getting into anything else on here. Just to make sure that something didn't get, get clobbered with a power surge or something. So I'm going to go down to settings, advanced, in the menu. And uh, we'll see whether... When I bring up the, uh, I think it's under general. Should be able to scroll down here and find one that says reset to initial TV settings. So we're gonna reset this TV and see whether resetting this TV is going to correct anything. Still looks like it has no green in the picture, or very little. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look and see if there's any updates to the firmware or to the software, because um, again, sometimes these problems can be corrected by doing an update. So I'm just going to connect it to my network and see if there's any updates available for it. So now I'm uh, connected to my network. Gotta love with these TVs now. You have to agree to advertising and location and the whole nine yards before they let you watch TV. We're gonna go back into the general menu and then down at the bottom it says about this TV. This is where you can select software updates and so forth. So I'm just gonna select about this TV and check for any updates. See if there's any updates. So there's no updates looks like for the TV so that means we've got the most current version of software on here so that's not going to be the issue so I guess the next thing is we have to take this thing apart and see whether it's going to be something relatively minor hopefully it's going to be something relatively minor because not a lot you can do on these TVs now they're basically down to one board and they've got one connector that goes to the panel and all of the electronics that drive the screen are on the panel so you end up being a main board and well cost wise you're not going to replace a main board on a TV like this it's unfortunate because the set is not that old let's get the back off this well the back is off the set and it's shedding some light onto what doesn't look like it's going to be have a nice happy ending to this look at the back lights they're blue now some of the sets use an op optical filter like Sony use an optical filter on their TVs to produce the red and green from a single color LED but they use blue LEDs these ones here appear to be kind of a, a purple so it's got red component in there we have an LED problem on this panel and I don't know that, that, that it will be repairable at least not economically repairable because that would require tearing the screen apart as you can see we do have green it's just that our backlight is, this should be a white bar, not purple. Our backlight is so blue, there's not a heck of a lot of green light making it to the panel. It's mostly red and blue component that's making it to the panel. And that is washing out everything, making everything look predominantly that pink, purplish color that we saw off the backlight. So there it is with the color switched off completely and as you can see it's still it's very very blue. Uh, I'm going to have to do some research on this and see if there's any adjustments that will adjust the color temperature. I don't have any data on this so I don't know whether this one uses the the color filters like the quantum dot type technology that Samsung use and triluminous like Sony use because in those cases they do use a blue LED and they derive the, the white light by filtering the blue LEDs through an optical filter which turns it into white light. 
Uh, I don't know whether this set uses that technology or not. If it does, then the panel itself is being driven blue. So to enter the service mode on LG, you can uh, do it with a smartphone that has an IR blaster. I'm going to use my Galaxy Tab uh, tablet. I'm using a um, remote called Anymote and I've entered the code for LG to download it and I'm going to hit the easy adjust button down here and point it at the TV because this has got the infrared blaster so easy adjust it's going to come up and ask for a password at this point I can put this remote control away put the tablet away and I'm going to enter the code 0413 using the factory remote 0413 now I'm into the setup menu I can scroll down to white balance press OK and here's where we can play with the adjustments and as you can see the blue gain has got the crap cranked out of it let's go take it down bring this down a little bit like the blue gain has been really cranked up like you wouldn't believe so we're going to bring this down and see if we can get this to, to look a little more natural. Adjust our white balance on this. We can change, our, of course, our settings. I'm just going to try and get the Get the adjustments set here to try and get get a, uh, uh, a half decent black and white picture the test pattern will adjust or will set your white pattern I can turn it to off if I want to look at my color bars as you can see I'm already making some pretty good progress here just by adjusting the gain and the cutoff bring that blue gain down a bit So I just reset everything. It doesn't look good on camera here, but it does look a lot better to my eye. The, the color balance on this camera is off. I should probably white balance this thing so that it look a little better. So just before I put the back on this set because I'm going to continue to do some adjustments using the remote. We'll just go over the three boards. Well actually there's four boards. This is the Wi-Fi antennas here and the infrared receiver is back in the in the bottom down here. Infrared, infrared receiver is in here. Um, you got a main board. All your signal processing looks like there's like uh, two main chips on here and low voltage differential signaling flat cable going down to the timing controller board which goes down to the panel all the the uh, gates all the control gates for the panel would be actually embedded in the glass on these newer panels we got a power supply over here generate the low voltage for the main board and the high voltage for the LED backlights and local or, or panel dimming and that's basically all there is to these there's not a heck of a lot to them there's not much you can do, you know. It looks like the, if you look down here in the bottom to the left of the light, I don't know how, how it's going to show on camera here, but to my eye, there's a different, definite shift in blue on the right side of the screen as opposed to down here. This should be the same color. That's my rain video showing. I'm going to see if I can get this looking a little better on uh, the set. With, uh, with the service menu on the remote because I've gotten it looking a lot better now than it was when it came in. It was almost unwatchable before by just adjusting the green gain and the blue gain driving <coughs> driving the actual panel. When I bring up my cameras, they're certainly 
still a little bit on the blue side over here but this this one here is looking more normal again I haven't tweaked it much so I'm gonna go back to my color bars and uh, we'll see how color bars look the color bars are looking a lot better but I'm still getting this you can see it here you see look at down here this looks more white than this area here and it just looks like it looks like something's happened to the diffuser inside that screen whether it's warped or or something has changed in the diffuser and it's not properly filtering the light it just looks off I don't have the authorization to tear this screen apart because it's not mine. Um, so if, if, if this set becomes mine, I might uh, dissect the screen and go further, but I am just kind of was given the set to, to quickly evaluate and see what the problem looks like. And at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to the owner of the set tomorrow and uh, let him see how it's looking now and show him this. But... Uh, I think he's probably going to be uh, looking at buying a new TV at this at this point. Doing a little bit of research, and what I initially thought, the LED backlights, it's that's the case. The LEDs are turning blue. We can see it. As soon as I pulled the back off, this the LEDs were blue, and that's what I initially thought. And then I was thinking maybe this is one of those sets that uses RGB LEDs, which they could be, but I don't think so. All white LEDs use a blue diode the white light is formed by phosphorus in the LED which produces yellow which gives you your reds and your greens and makes the LED look white I think what's happening is the phosphorus is burning out on the LEDs and the lights are the LEDs are reverting to the natural blue color of the actual LED itself hence why the picture is bluer here than here because this strip of LED is failing at a different rate. Anyway, that's I think the problem on this set. It's the LED uh, strips that are bad. I gotta get a hold of the guy that owns this thing. I don't know that he's gonna want to replace the strips, but if he does, I will order some strips in and we'll take it from there. But there's the problem. And as I say, I didn't take long. A quick Google with this model number of the of this LG piece of shit and I just typed in turning blue in corner and BAM it was the whole screen lit up and it's what I suspected initially was the LEDs are going bad and that's exactly what it is it's looking a lot better now the set probably is watchable at this point but I don't think it's gonna last it's going to uh, it's probably going to go bad. It's going to continue to get worse as the as the LEDs age again, which just proves what I've always been saying about LED TVs. They're absolute garbage. Um, the only reason we have LED TVs is because the manufacturers wanted to get the power consumption down. The cold cathode fluorescent LCD TVs were a far superior solution to these LED TVs. There's, there's no comparison. And of course the plasma sets. I love my old plasma TVs. Those things just go on forever. And yeah, they're not the most energy efficient, but man, they have a good picture. And my plasma TV is 10 years old and it's got tens of thousands of hours on it. It probably has 30,000 hours on it. Haven't had a day's trouble with it. My other plasma TV is even older than that and it still works. Sure, some of them failed, but most of them have lasted for quite a long time. Anyway, um, let me go back to a picture on this set and we'll see how the, uh, the picture looks. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. It doesn't look, you know, it, it looks more blue on the, on the video. It's not this blue. That actually looks white to my eye. It's, it's much, much better than it was before when I first started on this. This thing was so blue you couldn't watch it. Let's go down to, uh, you see, now there's actually green here. And that actually is gray. It's, it's the color is off on the camera. It's not blue like that. That actually looks like rock. It's, this is a, picture is kind of watchable at this point. Although it's still, 
it's bluer here than it is over here right but it's not it's not as blue as it was um, I haven't tweaked it anymore I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more and see if I can just uh, bring the greens up a little more on it but um, there's not a hell of a lot I can do it's the it's the panel that's bad or in this case it's the the uh, LED strips that have gone bad on this set anyway now you guys know how to get into the service menu with the uh, using your phone or a, a tablet using the IR blaster how to set these things up thanks for watching